Hi guys, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on HDR. -ing. I'm going to be using Photomatix Pro 3. It's got some nice workflow shortcuts here now in the new version, which we're going to be using. So we're just going to click Generate HDR Image. I'm going to be using some images I took in Iceland. They're not, it's not the greatest because it was a bit cold. So we're going to select the images we have here. And um, so we're going to select OK and click OK. Now we have um, the Align Sources Images bit here. You can choose how you want to align them by matching features or by horizontal and vertical shifts. You can choose whether you want to crop them. The rest of this you don't really need to worry about. Just click OK and it will generate the HDR. Alright, it does that. I'm going to show you a couple of the, the three original images which I am using. I'm going to be, this is the overexposed image I have. You can see just about inside the cave. Outside it's a bit too white. This is the average exposure, outside's pretty much okay, and the underexposed is pretty much a bit too dark in every aspect. It was a bit too cold to really fiddle around out there, so um, it didn't come out that well. But um, yeah, we're going to now go back to photomat Photomatics, while it aligns the sources and then it's going to generate the HDR. We're going to be doing a tone map after that. Okay, now we've got the HDR image, as you can see here, you still have the black up there, and there, it's not the most evenly exposed image, that's because what you see on Flickr, etc., are tone mapped HDRs, which give you a good exposure in every aspect, so we're just going to click tone mapping here, we've got a shortcut here to do it. Now it's going to load the tone mapping window, there we go. We've got a couple of settings here which you can choose, the strength, colour saturation, light smoothing, luminosity, white point, black point, and gamma. I filled around in the so I came out with, about, with this. It's not the greatest, but it was a quick one and it looks okay. You can see really see the detail on this inside cave wall here. Um, quick note, if you're using the um, trial version, choose to do choose to um, put your previews as large as possible and then take a screenshot, crop it, otherwise you're going to get watermarking if you process it out. If you don't mind the watermarking, then it's okay. I've got the, I've purchased version 3 here, so that's okay. Now all you have to do is click process and I'll export the image. Okay, now I've exported the image. If you had the watermarking, you'd have three watermarks on it, but because we don't. It's not the greatest image. It's okay aligned, but um, as you can see, you see a lot more detail on the inside now because we've merged three images. And that is my quick tutorial. I would like to also say, point out that I have a giveaway of a license. So if you guys want to um, just leave a comment and say what you think about the uh, um, the uh, product, and um, I think it's great. It works really well and is really simple. If you want to do some HDRing, it does cost a bit at $99 for the standalone application. They do have a photo uh, shop plugin, which is a bit cheaper and a bundle of the two. We've just got a, a, a license for Photomatics Pro to give away, and so um, I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, enjoy it, enjoy the video, and if you want, go download the trial and play around and see if you really want to do some tone mapping. It's a really good way to get back into um, revitalize your photography skills and let you think about um, what you're going to be doing. Okay, thanks, guys. I hope that I think that's everything. Okay, and um, bye.